As passenger traffic at Salt Lake International Airport takes off again, construction crews are picking up the pace on phase two of the new SLC airport. Several gates on the newest concourse will open in a year. New specialist Jed Bull went on a media tour of the new construction and shows us the progress. Many of us have already flown out of the new four and a half billion dollar airport. Concourses A and B West opened in September 2020. Now, Concourse A East is buzzing with 750 workers a day. Long phase program, but everything from this point on just gets better and better and better. Concourse A East is a massive shell right now, several football fields long. It will serve only Delta flights. We have a great team here that's been working together uh, for several years now. So we have daily challenges that we don't think are really big deals. They're just normal project stuff. Focused on getting the building materials and workers they need. There will be 22 gates in all in Concourse A East. The first four gates in this area will open in May of 2023, just a year away. The remaining 18 gates will open in November 2023. We have more and more passengers coming to the airport every day, and so any gate that we can deliver early is, is really going to be put to use immediately. The drop-off in passengers during COVID enabled construction crews to get ahead of schedule. They knocked down old concourses sooner than planned. By getting rid of the old airport all at once, we're able to advance the project schedule by two years. Adding 19 new concessions with some local names. We want only the best available for the customers here at the airport. Salt Lake International going with street pricing. That means you won't pay more for meals or retail items at the airport than you do at their stores in town. For, uh, we'll say, Blue Iguana, if you charge $8 uh, for a burrito in your downtown location, that's what it's going to be here. The safety team this morning was recognized with a prestigious award from Utah Occupational Safety and Health for their safety record during the project. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.